In this project, we will simulate the solar radiation effect on a gasoline tank. Present model is drawn in three dimensions using design modeler software. The meshing of the model was carried out using ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type is unstructured. Uh, also by clicking on report quality, again in the console tab, the Fluence software will, uh, will give you the quality report for your mesh. For example, you can see the maximum aspect ratio of your mesh, uh, maximum orthogonal quality, and etc. Now in the appear window, which shows you the names of the different parts of your geometry, you can click and select each part and then click on display uh, so that the software will show you that part. Now if you double click on the radiation model in the appear window under the model section, you can see that we have selected and enabled the P1 model. Now P1 model is used for cases where directional independence is integrated into the radiation heat transfer equation resulting in a scattering or emission equation for random radiation. Its advantages are that the radiation heat transfer equation is easily solved even with low CPUs, including the effects of light scattering such as the effects of particles or droplets of water or soot, and works well in cases with high thicknesses. The solar model is also used to activate the thermal load of solar energy. Now if you expand the fluid and solid under the material section, you can see that different materials are added here. Now in order to add a new material, all you have to do is to right click on fluid or solid and then click on new. For example, if you double click on the part domain button in the appear window in front of the material name, you can see that they have changed it to the air material. And of course, if you click on the radiation tab, you can see the settings that are related to the radiation for this boundary. And by clicking on the outlet boundary, you can see that the type of this boundary is defined to be pressure outlet. Just like the previous slide, if you click on edit button, in the appeared window, you can change the settings for this boundary. And after that, if you click on the radiation tab, you can see that the boundary condition type related to the radiation for this wall is defined to be opaque. And the other settings are as it follows and as you can see in this window. Now for this wall, you can see that under the momentum tab, stationary wall motion along with no slip shear condition are defined. Now for this wall boundary, if you click on the thermal tab, you can see that the heat flux thermal condition is selected and the value of heat flux applied on this boundary is equal to zero, which means that this wall is adiabatic. After double clicking on the controls button, in the middle section of the software window, you can see that new part will appear. In the appear part, you can see under relaxation factors for different parameters. Now these values are set here by the software automatically. You can change these values which are between 0 and 1 by yourself for different projects you do. But it is highly recommended that you do not do that since it may result in divergence. After double clicking on the initialization button, a new window will appear showing you different methods of initialization, hybrid and standard. Now in the standard initialization method, you get to choose the first amounts and values for the first iteration of the simulation progress. These values refer to the values used in the first iteration of the simulation progress and if you choose the values for each parameter wisely, your simulation progress will finish sooner. It should be mentioned that you can also choose the first values and in, or the initial values by just clicking on the compute from drop down list and clicking on one boundary. For example, by clicking on compute from all zones, the software will automatically average the values in different zones and boundaries and put those values in the initial values for the software. Now in this 3D contour you can easily see the temperature distribution inside our computational domain and you can easily see the gasoline tank which is placed inside the middle section of our geometry with a distinct color. Now in this contour you can easily see the temperature changes inside and outside the gasoline tank and of course inside the gasoline tank you can see that the temperature has a clearly lower temperature in comparison with other sections which is due to the existence of the cover layer. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. The present problem simulates the effect of solar radiation and coating layer on a gasoline fuel tank. In this model, a gas tank is located inside a computational area containing airflow. The air flows with a speed of 10 meters per second and a temperature of 318.15 Kelvin. Inside the computational zone, 
and collides with the tank. Since the purpose of the problem is to investigate the effect of solar radiation on the tank, the radiation model has been used. The radiation model is P1 type and the solar ray tracing mod has also been activated. Solar charge is a type of solar ray tracing as an algorithm for transmitting solar radiation energy, which of course can only be used for three-dimensional models. In the present model, the characteristic of solar radiation on surfaces and objects include longitude 36.2605 degrees, latitude 59.6168 degrees, and time zone equivalent to positive 4.5 in global position section. The north and east direction of the object in relation to the solar radiation in the mesh orientation section are considered in positive direction y and x respectively. The radiation time in date and time section is defined at 1308 on the 17th day of the 8th month. This simulation has been done in two geometrically different modes. In the first case, no cover layer is provided for the gasoline tank, and in the second case, a 3 mm cover layer is used for the perimeter of the tank. The present model is drawn in three dimensions using design modeler software. The present model consists of a cylindrical tank for a storage of gasoline with a height of 0.1 meter and a diameter of 0.1 meter, which is located within a computing area of a rectangular cube with dimensions of 1.2 meters by 0.3 meters by 0.1 meter. Also, the cover layer thickness is 3 millimeters. The meshing of the model was carried out using ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type is unstructured. The element number is equal to 1,084,362. To benefit from Mester CFD services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at mestercfd.com.